Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization 5. As we continue our run here with the Danish on Deity Difficulty. We've only met one other civilization in Korea so far. They're a bit ahead of us, as you would expect on Deity. Um, they're going to start skyrocketing ahead of us because they get lots of good science at some point. Uh, hopefully we can stay close and defend ourselves from the inevitable attack. They're eventually going to attack us because that's just the way AI works. Um... But anyway, I'm having lots of fun with this. I hope you guys are as well. Lots of nostalgia coming back for me as I'm remembering bits and pieces. Um, we'll see. We'll see how badly I lose this first uh, effort at this game. And uh, and then we'll see what we need to adjust from there. Uh, the citizens still want cotton. I don't think we know about cotton, do we? Nobody has cotton. So why would... Like, it's weird that they they want something that we don't have access to. It's like, how do you even know cotton exists? I don't know. All right, let's go a route to... Oh, we don't have roads yet. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to do routes too, but we don't have roads yet. Those are right there. Uh, we might want to pick that up here then in a moment. Yeah. I think after the sailing, we do want... I mean, I do want to pick up library for sure, but I also want to get the roads hooked up, especially considering how far apart our stuff is. So in the meantime... I mean, there's no concept of districts, so putting farms on these is still a decent idea. Uh, are we working that? We are not working that. We're actually working the whales. We need a work boat for that. We're not working the elephants right now, which is losing us some gold. How long until you grow? Five turns until you grow. We could just sit out here on the wheat and wait for that. That might not be a bad idea. Let's just sit out there, get that hooked up right away, get us some more food from that. And I'm okay with that. Um, okay. Got a settler coming down here. Unescorted, but I'm hoping we would know about any barbarians down here. If not, I'll learn. <laughs> I mean, we do in Civ 6. I don't remember if we do in Civ 5. We're going to find out together. Most progressive people. This is based on social policies. So yeah, we're we're definitely behind. As you would expect. We're going to be in last place on a lot of things for a lot part, a large part of the game. Hopefully not forever, though. I mean, we have no real bonuses as the Danish for a passive game. But the way our stuff is set up here it just really kind of feels like being very passive early on because we have room to grow and spread out if we were like very claustrophobic and really stuck in somewhere we would need to just bust out in some form or fashion but right now i don't feel the urgent need to okay let's go get the roads again because i think it's gonna be really urgent i do want science yes 100 percent, but i really want to get these roads hooked up for these very far off cities should have time to get the wheat and then come back and start doing the road after that. All right, city here. I like the idea. Wittenberg, which is a religious one. Okay. They have whales, which we don't care about. We already have that. I mean, I, I don't know if I'll protect, pledge to protect you, actually. We're just going to go ahead and close that. Even the pledge protects here might not last forever, to be honest. Uh, settler here. I think I'm okay with this. On a hill. Next to Citrus. And then we can put another one down here somewhere eventually. Two turns until border growth. You are going to go right into... I mean, we got to go right into a monument right away so we can border grow earlier. But I still like the idea of just going... You know what? We're going to wait on worker here until we get the actual worker boost. So in the meantime... Now why not? Let's start with a monument. I mean, we're slowing down Copenhagen's growth to get all these cities out. We are at zero happiness right now, so I do need to do some more trades soon. Actually, we might go negative here in a moment. Uh, 15, 9. In, nine oh, in 7 turns, we will go negative happiness. So there's something to take into account. Unless we can hook up another... No, we'll be able to hook up the citrus soon-ish. Although we don't have jungles yet. Oh, that's why you're not going to the citrus. That's right. We have to clear the jungle before we can do the citrus, I think. So. I think, don't we? Or do we not? Maybe not. I don't remember now, suddenly. <laughs> I mean, the other way to get some more happiness is to be friends with one of these two. Which we could do by giving them a gift. We get 20 influence, which is... I think it's 30 that you need to get friendly. So that wouldn't be quite enough. Um... Do you have any missions? Don't we usually see missions here somewhere? 
They want to destroy a nearby barbarian encampment. Both of you do. Where? Can we see? Oh, way over there. Pfft. I'm nowhere near that, my friend. Oh, wow, you've already got composite bowmen. I mean, I, I guess composite bowmen are actually relatively early, so maybe that's not too big of a surprise. I mean, really, we just need to get... I guess... Hmm, we actually can't put this next city down yet. We might need to pause that for a moment. And switch to... Oh, the workboat. That's huge. If we get the workboat out, that'll give us enough to get that, that settler out. So actually, we want to move the workboat above the settler. Get that out. Uh... Yeah, because in seven turns we get the workboat, which will time out with when this or this city down here gets a growth. So we might be we might tick into unhappiness for a moment, and then we can get the workboat, finish the settler, and kind of go from there. I think that'll work. And again, I think getting the roads connected, which will take a little while, will also help us out a little bit. Oh, you have jewelry as well. Also irrational. Oof. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that you exist. All right, we can put a farm here. Yeah, luxuries are just... Or happiness is so... It's such a limiting factor in this version of the game. It's so, so, so painful sometimes. Oh, somebody wants a trade route. Oh, no, gold gifts. I'm sorry. Never mind. I, was, I thought that was trade route. Hey! Oh, wow. Three extra happiness just for having this in our borders. I mean, it's not going to be because that's way far away. But at least we got a happiness for finding it. That is pretty useful. And then that'll help whenever this city down here grows so we won't be immediately unhappy. Pretty good National Wonder, though. Still want to hopefully get this one to our borders at some point. We just need to get the monument down to get that one, though. After the will, we need to figure out whatever's going to get us. I guess plantations to get us the citrus, because we got two of those out. Still want the science. But happiness is also very important. Oh, Russia. Oh, you have cotton. I mean, I don't want to give away my last ivory right now. I definitely need to get this ivory hooked up as soon as possible. Because that will... We can trade that for cotton then. Cool. I'm happy to know that that exists. Hopefully she still has it when we need it. She's pretty far ahead of us. I mean, Korea, we're, we're hanging in there. For now. I think he's going to start skyrocketing on us pretty soon, but... At the moment, we're not miles away, but she's she's a little bit more heavily above us. Um, plantation, where is it? Calendar? Yeah, calendar. And then finally, we come back to writing, probably. Yeah, I guess so. Is there other things to give us happiness? Oh yeah, the Circus Maximus. Oh, that's right. This is a nat uh, national wonder, isn't it? Yes. Okay. If we have a Colosseum in all our cities then we can get the Circus Maximus to give us just a big boost as well. So National Wonders are wonders that every civilization can build, but you can only build one. It's being a Colosseum that is there, which would give us composite bowmen and lumber mills. That's another way to get some extra happiness as well. All right, well, let's start with Plantation. And then I, we've got to go for the science. <laughs> we got to get that down. I've been delaying it way too long. Uh, I mean, sure, we'll take a little bit extra gold. Why not? Our science rate is so garbage right now. Hong Kong is now allies with Korea. Uh, Statue of Zeus has been built. I don't even know if we're even close to... We're ever going to get a... We're not going to get a religion. We're not even trying. So I'm not even going to worry about it. Workboat in one turn. Growth in two turns. Okay, that's actually going to be okay. That got faster and this got delayed a little bit. Maybe, or actually, it's probably just that this got faster. Oh, hello. Oh, you have lots of cocoa. So even if we lose the uh, cotton from Russia, we definitely will be able to get cocoa from you. Oh, 
Oh, it's automated. I was like, what is the difference here? I'm yeah, we'll going to do that. Our workboats... I was say, workboats are consumed. That, that's the one difference. Workboats, they just happen, and then you don't... You, they're, they're done. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Good stuff there. Now you can grow a little bit, because we do have a little bit of space. And soon-ish, we'll be able to get the whales hooked up for sure. Figure out what else from there. Okay. I'm mostly okay with this. Five turns, and we get another Civic. Which will probably be the worker one. I think. I mean, they're starting to get ahead of us. Even Korea. You know what? You're our closest person that could cause us trouble. And we're not ready for war yet. We don't have our unique unit or anything like that. We will be friends. Alright, we can't do the road now. So, let's come back to... We might even come back to... Well, let's just go to Copenhagen. And build up to there first. We'll come back and do rib later. Ribe, whatever. No. No, we're not going to war with anybody. I mean, I can see the argument for going to war against Russia because it would not matter. We would just be at war and it would mean nothing. Other than the fact she could destroy our archer. There's no likelihood that she would really come over here and beat up on us specifically. All right, so we did finish our other settler. I do want to come over here to the salt. One, two, three, four. I mean, we could go there. One, two, three, four or and technically build way out there. I don't know if there's any value. There's not really much here that we couldn't get with just whatever city's over here anyway. Uh, if we're going to build anywhere, probably on the hill tile. It wouldn't be able to get this fish, though. Whereas if we built here, we would still be able to get both fish. So maybe that's okay. A little more defensive. Just build there. I think it'll be all right. I, I can see arguments for both. I mean, the fish tile is not going to be like massive, massive, but we might as well get it if we can. Uh, any more? So we we technically have a couple spots. Like I said, there's a spot down here. There's technically a spot up there. I don't know if we have to rush them. I don't think anybody else is going to settle in those spots right now. So I think we can go for other things like a cargo ship or a caravan, or a trireme, for example. Also, the idea of going granary. If we had more happiness, I would definitely go granary. I feel like we got to pause that just a little bit right now. Let's go trireme. Get us a little bit more exploration on the on the water. Let's see where that gets us. Three turns on worker, four turns on worker. You'll be able to get a worker started in three turns once we got the boost. Actually, we might start it right away once you finish the monument. And then we'll just kind of go from there. All right, so you can do a route to... Let's go Kal Kalpeng, Kalpeng first. And then we'll take that all the way to Arhas after that. I think you build roads in like two or three turns, something like that. I think they're pretty fast, aren't they? Four turns, okay. They're faster than most things, but they're still going to take you a good chunk of time. Given the distance. Alright, there's our plantations. But the plantation by itself is not good enough, right? Don't we still have to get the jungle clear? I think. Alright, you're going to go ahead and do worker. We're going to get the boost to worker here in a moment anyway. And we're going to get a free worker as well, which will be nice. Um, hmm. Where's the jungle clear? Maybe I'm mis misremembering. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, which is fine. I mean, moving up the Coliseum would get us more happiness. I, we got to get the library down, though. That'll time out pretty close to right after the trireme and be able to work on the library in Copenhagen gotta push towards some science we're, we're we're falling behind big time which is normal i'm okay with falling behind a little bit because we can we can snowball better than the ai usually okay builder does not look like you can work on this right away Or can you? I don't think... I think it's red because you can't for some reason. But I don't remember what you have to have to fix that. Am I just blind? Is it here in front of me and I'm just not seeing it? Oh, there's jungle right there. Okay, no. You should be able to do it then. Right? 
Oh, it's not on our borders. I was like, why am I missing? Why is it not highlighting? Our house has not grown yet. And again, unless I just don't remember, you can't buy you can't buy stuff here. Why do I thought you could? All right, well, that's fine. We will, how long until your borders grow? Eight turns, all right. And I guess we'll go do the horses or the wheat. Probably the wheat first. It was a mistake to come over here, but that's okay. And then we'll definitely get the elephants hooked up here in a moment, which will give us something to trade. Uh, we do want to go ahead and get the free worker, I think, push towards some of these other things. I uh, like this. And you can work on, can you get the water mill since we did put next to the river, which is nice. I think you need the monument though. We got to be able to spread out a little bit faster, get that citrus into our border soon. There's our builder here. Um, oh, you can work on citrus though. Perfect. Let's go get that citrus there. That'll work. I like that. Once we start getting our science built up, that'll really be more telling of kind of how far behind we are. And culture, obviously. We, we still got to get culture stuff going. I don't know why I didn't notice that was on my board. I was just blind, apparently. All right, Builder, you definitely want to come hook this up, please, and thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Did I read this wrong? It's not creating builders faster. It's just they have construction rate increased by 25%. Oh, uh, I read that wrong. I was thinking constructing a builder or a worker, whatever they're called. It's actually constructing the, the, the stuff, which is fine because it actually makes the roads in three turns, doesn't it? So I'm okay with that. So we didn't have to delay the worker after all. That was a, a miscalculation or a misunderstanding, I guess. Uh, we'll be able to get the circus as soon as that gets hooked up. So we want to work on something in the meantime. Honestly, monument here as well. Sounds pretty good. I really need our border growth to go out here to get this thing. If we lose this thing to the city state, I'm going to be pretty unhappy. All right, trireme is done. We're actually just going to have you auto explore right away. Go do your thing, my friend. Apparently, we got a baddie. Yes, we do. Okay. Next for you. Well, we're about to get more happiness soon, although not yet. So I can see the argument for granary relatively soon. Honestly, we just need to get a, we need to get a caravan or cargo ship, one of the two. Let's go cargo ship since we do have some coastal guys we can trade with. And cargo's, I think it's a little bit better, isn't it? It's just a slightly better trade route, just like in Civ 6, I want to say. I could be misremembering, but I think that's the case. Probably need to build some um, military units here soon as well, actually. Just to defend ourselves. I mean, again, for now, while we're friends with Korea, I'm not super concerned about it. These other two are a little bit further away and less likely, not impossible, but less likely to come for us. All right, let's go and get this. Seven turns, that's not bad. You're going to build that in five. I like that. All right. I'm liking kind of where we're at now. I think we go for Colosseum to get the happiness there as well. Followed up by probably the Circus Maximus. Again, hill or no hill? Is this really the question? You know, it's going to delay us a bit, but I'm actually going to move on to the hill because I think it'll give us some vision down here. There's always a chance that there's another resource here that could change my mind. So one turn delay. Oh, it's not actually going to show it. Maybe we move here as well. I know it's going to delay the city a couple turns, but I think I think we can accept that just to make sure we're not missing something. It's possible he won't get any vision at all, though. But I'd rather, like, take a couple turns to make sure we're not wrong. Because if there's any value building it here... Okay, there's not. So we are just going to... Other than being on a hill. Um, I, I mean, I just want to be able to get, get, again, eventually get the fish in our territory. So I think we're just going to be back to there. That'll be fine. All right. One happiness at the moment. We're actually losing gold. Probably because of all the units that we have. So we do. I mean, we obviously, once we get the cargo ship, we should be much better off there. And the road. I think the road gives us gold too, question mark. 
We should want crabs. We don't know about any crabs or dyes, I don't think. You know, sugar and spice and everything nice, but we don't know any crabs. All right. Go ahead and blow you up. Finally finished that. We can trade that away to somebody. Let's trade with the cotton first, because uh, I think we still have a, a way to get something from that. Cool. Goodbye. Does that give us a We Love the King Day? Probably next turn. And gets us a little bit more happiness, which I'm which I'm happy about, ironically. <laughs> All right, let's get you built. And we're just going to get you a worker immediately to hook up the salt. Might be too many workers at some point, but we can always delete one or change something later. We are down to zero happiness. Anybody going to grow right away? Five turns, 14. Not right away. I mean, we do need to hook up. Okay, we're about to hook up the citrus, which will help a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess just hook up the bison. Because I think this guy will come hook up the uh, horses in a moment. No, I don't. I don't need your iron right now, my my friend. I don't know if I'll need your iron any ever, because eventually we'll get that as well. And four berserkers should be plenty for anything we need to do. How happy! Classical era. All right, gold return. Okay, we are officially unhappy. Oh, actually, we're very... Oh, because because we lost a trade route, I think. A trade uh, thing, right? Are you not going to give it to us now because you don't have any more? Huh. Okay, then I guess we're going to be trading with you then for some cocoa. Sure, why he traded away his last thing. What? I mean, we don't need our iron right now. I hate that this is a thing. But we definitely need the cocoa. So, I guess we're gonna have to do it. Not ideal. I hate that that's lopsided against us, but we need the happiness until we can get our Coliseum set up here in a bit. Now, we can turn off growth in our cities if we feel like that's the right path, but I mean, our cities are so small right now. I mean, he's at 9 and 7. We're at 5 on our capital, so I still think we need a little bit more growth before we consider turning things off. We just need to fix the happiness is really the right answer, not to turning on growth at this point. Now, granted, this is just a score. This is not like a military strength or anything like that, so just kind of take that with a grain of salt, I suppose. Kind of a rough estimate of kind of where our power lies compared to theirs. Uh, we do have more elephants we can come hook up. So let's go grab those. You are going to be able to hook up I mean, either the cows or the horses. I guess we'll do the horses just because it's a strategic resource. Feels like a good idea. Um, you can hook up. Uh, we do have access to walls. Once we get the elephants, we'll be able to get a circus here as well. Having all these elephants is massively huge for us because that's a lot of nice free, well not free, but you know, extra happiness that we can get that most other people can't. Honestly, maybe we just go straight into a library, although we only got two citizens, so it's not going to be that great. Over the granary. Um, although that's not actually that helpful because we don't have any... Well, we're about to get deer here in a bit. So actually the granary would be a good idea because as soon as we get the elephants, we can do the deer and that'll line up with the granary pretty close to it and help the city grow a little bit better. I am okay with that. More border growth there. It's weird being pacifist as the Danes here. You would think. I mean, we we. I mean, we're not to our unique unit yet, so it's okay to be pacifist this early on. I like the idea of the watermill, just because it is production and also food. Uh, we will want to get the circus as soon as we get the horses. There's the idea of the library here as well. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
Let's get the water mill. Just because it's unique to this particular city. Get us more food and production while we have that river. I mean, it's the only city that's going to have a river anyway, so might as well take advantage of it. All right, you finish that. Honestly, you could do a route to Copenhagen. Kind of start connecting that for now. Wait, did I not tell you to come over here to the horses? Maybe I misclicked. Sounds like something I would do. If we stop being friends with Korea, we're going to have to build up some military units quick and in a hurry. But again, I still feel relatively safe. Probably a miss, uh, a, uh, a false sense of, of security at the moment, but. Oh, there's a, wait, is it citrus? What did we trade with you? No, I think we traded the dyes or the, for the dyes, didn't we? Do you have any back yet? Oh, you have incense now. Um, we could trade away our wells or ivory. I mean, because we're about to get a second ivory here in about four turns. So this will be a bit of an overlap, but it'll be fine. I just want to do it before he loses it. That's really the big reason why I want to do it early, even though it benefits him more for four turns than it does for me. It means that we secure it as that's the, that's very important to me. All right, there's the circus. I definitely want to get the circus down before anything else. I think it's very important for us to keep that happiness in a happy no pun intended, but happy place, quite literally. Uh, let's go ahead and do a route to Copenhagen. Get connections here. You are... I mean, you'll take some damage from the arch if I come over here, though. But... Then we can just run away, I think. He might die. Actually, that might have been a mistake. Archer and this guy, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, we might just die. I should have come back and healed. Alright, let's hook up the horses. That'll let us get a, a um, circus in Arhus. Oh, we're actually at time, so as soon as this turn comes back around, I will call it there. Don't die. You're going to die. Oh, not yet. Most wonderful people. I mean, we're not building any wonders. That's pretty typical for me in any Civilization deity game. Got a cargo ship. We'll take care of that in just a moment. But for now, we're going to go to put a cut in there. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Lots of nostalgia coming back for me right now. Again, I know I'm probably making some mistakes, but live and learn. So we'll see how it goes. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.